Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my FabFitFun edit sale items here, but first I bought the iPhone, well, I got the iPhone 13 for Christmas. People split the cost, whatever. Anyway, I ended up getting the iPhone for 13 for Christmas and holy smokes, the camera on this thing is out of this world. I am just in shock. It has the feature where you can blur the background now. So that's really awesome. I'm working on my background. I kind of threw this together. Not sure how much I like it, but holy smokes, it is so high def. I'm using the front facing camera right now because the rear facing camera, the better camera is almost like too high def. I'm a little bit nervous that like so many wrinkles and pores will show that I will get annoyed watching my videos. We'll see, I'm testing it out. And I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I have fairly healthy self-esteem, I think. Anyway, okay, so just an amazing, amazing camera. But anyway, I'm just, ugh, wow. Okay, so I'm back after a little break. I will do an update on how my son is doing at the end of this video, if you're curious about that. He's had the second of three surgeries and he's now, three months old. So I will do an update on that at the end. Anyway, first off, let's get into this. Actually, this sale, I kind of thought was a little bit of a dud, to be honest, but there were some things that I was curious to try that were really, really cheap. So I went ahead and got them so that I can try them so that I can talk about them on my channel. Oh, so the first thing I got is this Sigma stippling brush, which I am actually kind of excited about. A stippling brush it's, wait, this is a dual fiber brush, which is good for stippling. And I've heard good things about Sigma brushes. I have a couple of Sigma brushes that I think are good. I haven't really used them too much, but I think I will like them as I use them more and more. There are a couple brushes that I'm just so used to reaching for. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. Let's see how well this focuses. First time filming on this too. So if I get my face out of there, I think it should. Focus. There we go. Okay. We've got to learn this camera. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, so this is it. It's duo fiber. Good. Like I said, good for stippling, which is when you do this with your makeup, uh, to put it on for a lighter coverage. Uh, so I'm excited to play with that. That actually wasn't dirt cheap, but, and this is, this one also wasn't dirt cheap. The rest is dirt cheap. This is the Luxme face oil. I bought this because I like Luxme products. I've used a couple of their products and they use, they're very sustainable. Oh, it even says a hundred percent rare plants. Your purchase protects the equivalent of 235,000 football fields of pristine Amazon rainforest in partnership with Conservation International. So that's one of the things that I really like about this. It says vegan, fair, tri fair trade, cruelty-free, no nasty stuff. And it is super high quality. The retail on this is like $108, I think it said. And this was $14 in the sale. And a little story, which if you watch me much at all, you've probably heard this, but I, um, started my job two years ago now and I had this from Lux Me sitting on my desk and it's their Shea Butter um, Pure, Pure Nilotica Melt. It's their nourishing balm to oil. So I had it sitting on my desk at work on my in my first week and one of the higher ups came to introduce himself to me and he saw it on my desk and he kept looking at it, kept looking at it as we were talking and then finally he says, I know the woman who founded that company, actually I'm very good friends with her father and I held her as a baby and all of this stuff and he reminisced. And then I said, oh wow, what a, what, do you, what a world, what do you know? Not what a world. I said, what do you know? What a world, <laughs> like the Wicked Witch. Um, anyways, it's, oh, what do you know? And then uh, he said, and then she, <laughs> this was a bomb he dropped it, which is he, she had died of cancer the year before. So the founder of this actually died of cancer about three years ago. But um, that's a side note, but it was kind of interesting. And then I said, yeah, I try to go for products that are, and I kind of paused looking for the right word. And then he said, sustainable. And I said, yeah, sustainable. So clearly very sustainable, very interested in trying this, um, this facial oil. So I want to actually smell it right now. It's called Luxme. It has very, very little scent, which I'm kind of surprised because it's called Luxme 33 Facial Oil because it has a blend of 33 different oils. So excited about that. I love facial oils. 
Now here's for the dirt cheap stuff. I got this, this is the Too Faced Hangover Good To Go coconut water. And speaking of trying to go for products that are sustainable, I don't think Too Faced is cruelty free. And I didn't double check that. That's one of the things that I usually check first, but I was blinded by the price. It was $4.99. So yeah, it says nowhere on here that this is cruelty free or brags about any kind of sustainability practices. Um, and this is also a chemical sunscreen. So this kind of just goes against a lot of what I usually go for. However, it was $4.99 and I really wanted to try it. So I, uh, I've been doing a lot of retail th therapy lately with what's going on with my son. And it's, it's kind of, it's kind of got to stop. <laughs> it's kind of got to stop. So there are only a few more things in here. Oh, this is a styling cream. I have so, so many. This is the Sacha Wan styling cream. I have to hold things I'm finding like directly in front of my face because I think that my camera is looking for facial recognition. Anyway, I'm still learning, like I said. So uh, this is a Swedish brand, I think. Yeah, Sweden. And the name is a combination of the two salon owners that came out with this product. And it was $3.99, typically $28 or something like that. So I'm going to try that and review it on my channel. Oh, and this actually was $3.99. This is the Black Blossom Hand Serum. And I I actually, I got this from a BoxyCharm sale, which I'm not subscribed to BoxyCharm right now, but what I'm learning is that because I've been subscribed, I get sale access frequently. Like not right away, but they open it up to people who have been subscribed, which is really, really fun. <laughs> and I'm spending too much money there too. So anyway, this is, this smells lovely. It's a hand serum. I don't know why they call it a serum. It feels much, very much like a lotion. It's not like the most amazing hand cream, lotion, serum, I guess. <laughs> um, it definitely, there are definitely more moisturizing ones out there, but this one I just think smells lovely. And I'm trying to open my mind to floral scents because my husband really likes floral and I used to just write off floral scents because I think that too often they're just really, really poorly done. But if, um, if they're done well, they smell really, really good. So this is it. Black Blossom Hand Serum. And if I don't end up using this, I can gift it to somebody. Um, even though I just kind of messed up the box a little bit there opening it. And then there's one more thing here. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Melt Away Cleanser. And I really, this is available on Sephora. I checked the reviews on Sephora. And a lot of people really like it. Apparently, it's easy to use it incorrectly. You have to read the instructions on how to use it if you use it incorrectly. Like you, you, it's optional to wash it off and I think you don't use it with water or something like that. I'll review this on my channel eventually too. But this was $5.99 and I think retails for like 50 bucks. It's a new product, it says. Um, and I am using the Dr. Dennis Gross AHA BHA serum lately and I really, really like it and his, some, a lot of his products have good reviews. So I was curious to try this, review it on my channel, see what I think, and I'll let you guys know. So that's it, that's everything I got. An update on my son, he had his, his second surgery. So he was born October 5th, diagnosed almost immediately with Hirschsprung's disease, went to the NICU from the hospital. I didn't get to bring him home, most horrible, horrible experience in my life. And, uh, but he's doing well, he's thriving, and I feel like he's basically been robbed from the grave. I thought I was gonna lose him. So, doing a lot, a lot, a lot better. He did really well with his second surgery. Um, and we only had to give him Tylenol like once actually after we brought him home. And the third surgery isn't scheduled yet, but it should be in the next three to five weeks or so. And then after that, we will see how he does. He he will just have kind of a different kind of normal as than most people, but he's a really cool little dude. It's been really fun to get to know him and see his personality emerge. He actually just had his first laugh like an hour ago. I was giving him a bunch of kisses on his cheek and he started laughing. It was so great. Um, and yeah, so he's doing really well. and. Hopefully he has as comfortable a life as possible and I am 
trying not to have too much anxiety for the third surgery. I threw up twice before his second surgery, so we'll see, we'll see. But I just look forward to there being no more surgeries in the future. Anyway, that's how he's doing, and that's about it. I am going to go to him. It looks like he's waking up from his nap. I miss you guys. I will hopefully get into a more regular schedule. It's just surrounding his surgeries and his treatment. I just, I can't. All my energy is going into making sure that he's okay. So that's it. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you had great holidays and that you're safe. This Omicron is just getting everybody. It seems like my holiday was canceled because of potential exposure. So, oh well, I'm, we're still safe. But anyway, I hope you're safe. I hope you're sane and I will see you in my next video. Bye.